Hello? Uh, Glitch Reaper here. I... Ah, uh, having a fish. But I'm also here with uh, some more Breaking Vethia. And, uh, yeah, I, I do have some things that I kind of planned out. And one of which is... Uh, remember how I made myself a nice uh, pickaxe over here for fossil hunting? Well, I need to do the opposite. I need to create one for uh, silk touch purposes. It's been a while since I've made a silk touch pick with uh, Tinker's Construct, but there is a modifier for it, and that's a pretty big deal. Now, do, do I have my... Uh, I have my uh, thing over this way. I, I think I do. Yeah. Okay. So I need to remember how to construct it. And this will probably take a good chunk of my remaining stuff. I did uh, decide to make the full set of divine uh, armor. It gave me an achievement, a divine plan. I also made myself the Twilight Clock, which I should definitely use now, actually. Just so that I have that taken care of. I'm, again, I'm trying to remember if this is a, an eternal item that I can just use however much I'd like. I think it is. I know it was originally. At least I think I remember that being how it worked. But anyhow, let me see if I can quickly tag that, uh, that gate by the time anything shows up. Well anything that's actually immediately hostile. Yeah, but that, that just clicked and was used, so I'll, I'll, I'll say that's an eternal use item. Ah, uh, slight issue though. Got nice cookable crake and... Oh, that, that guy does not know what, what he's dealing with. So I was going to say, I have nice cookable crake, and yet I uh, don't have anything to roast them with. Because, uh, uh, in my other world, I use the ability to have a very nice roasty weapon to simply insta-cook them. <laughs> so that's not a problem. Also, I'm kind of ready to go to the end if I need to. So, I, I got my Ender Compass out. Uh, well, back to the subject of uh, getting things here. Um, modifiers. Let's see here. Silk Touch. There we go. Needs a Silky Jewel. Not compatible with luck or auto smelt. Yeah, that that, that that's fair. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly about right. Uh, Less blocks be harvested directly. And the reason why is before I go full vampire, which I will be in this world, I want to make sure that I can get myself a very special kind of umbrella. Now, there's actually a couple of add-on mods for vampirism that have a s the same thing, where you have an umbrella that protects you during the daylight. And this is a slightly different one called Vampirosols. Okay, so this requires silky cloth. Self is string around gold. Okay. But, uh, yeah, this one requires something very specific and that's that you need to have oddly enough uh, you need to have diamond ore not diamonds diamond ore and that's also something that it actually oh wait I, I need I need even more of those I, I need I need to 32 not just okay that's too many there we go. Okay, uh, as I was saying, that's actually something in common with Divine RPG itself, and I thought it was rather appropriate. But, uh, yeah, the thing is that needing an ore as a crafting ingredient is something you can also see in Divine RPG, so it's that rather appropriate. And yeah, this its sole purpose is to make the Silky Jewel, so I'm just going to grab myself an emerald here. Uh, 
and now I'll have my modifier. Now the question is, do I want to scan this in case I want to make something else with Silk Touch, or not? Because at the same time, I think I'm going to have a pretty good pickaxe. Because, I mean, this this previous one could get me everything I needed to, and it, it goes with obsidian, so... I think I'll be fine just with one. I don't think I'll need to really scan that. E even so, I could just get the base components. So I'm, I'm going to be fine. Which reminds me, I'll, I'll probably want some obsidian. Okay. Oh, wait, well, actually, I need... Well, let me go over my parts I'm going to be needing, because I'm definitely going to be doing a, a, a pattern chest. Okay, let me see here. This will require two materials, so I'll need two blocks of obsidian. I'll need something there and something there, but it's just the obsidian I'm, I'm kind of concerned about. So I'll need two blocks of obsidian. So I'm going to have to melt those down and uh, I want it fast, so I want a lot of redstone for this. So what was my previous design? I had a stick, and oh, I had prismarine. Yeah, I think I have that as the... Okay, okay. So let me... Let me get some prismarine here, because aqua dynamic is a cool modifier. I like it. Let's see... And plank. So I think the I think this requires one. Yeah, it does. It requires one. Okay, okay. So we should be good. But I'll need to smelt my obsidian. So there's my my pattern for that, or rather my uh, my casting. Technically, mo uh, it, it's actually a mold, but, you know. Okay. Whoop. I accidentally clicked out. Oops. Clicked out of there. Okay. If I see anything else, I have a beam. Now I was hearing him over here. I have my path to the holy dimensions, but there's other things I'd like to It's a row. It's a row. It just had to be a row. Gotcha. And it's over the second one. Seriously. It was a second row up. Uh, I'm finding it harder to aim than usual. Uh, please let me drain them out. Oh gosh, that that was uh, more of a frenzy than I was expecting, but at least by the time I'm up, my obsidian will be done. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, special note, uh... Reminder to self, don't forget that there might be more than one. <laughs> they group attacked me. And they can really pinion the water with that, uh, that special attack of theirs. It's, it's, it can uh, be a, a, a bit annoying, but uh, you, could, you can see you can power through it. So you'll probably be okay. Okay, now I have a, f a spare hand. I could I could pull this off now. Okay, four ingots. That is just fine because I need this to be full. That's it, just cool off and give me the pick part. That's just what I needed. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> ah, that, 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 that feels much better. Okay. Uh, part builder. 
I needed uh let's see pattern chest, tough tool rod. It says three now? It's suddenly saying three. Did I misread it while I was in the Ah, oh, you're being picky about what slot you're in again. Okay. I, I, I see where you're going with that. Okay, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Pickaxe, please. Thank you. It's a very similar pattern, I know, but sometimes that's what you need. Oh, that's a... T Ooh, I accidentally grabbed a tough tool rod. That's why it was th throwing up the amount. Oops. Uh... Yeah. So I did only need one. Did did do that thing with the controls again or something? Okay, let's tr let's try this again. There we go. Now, modification. One of the first things is I definitely want the silky jewel. And I want this to be fast. So this one's going to be redstoned out. Oh, well, I might want to put my, my casting mold out. Oh, I, huh, uh, at least now I think I can still name it, uh, hmm. Hmm. Oromatic? Okay, that worked. Uh, b b no, not boomerang, silly thing. So, just gonna redstone this way up. Okay, so it's fast, it's got silk touch, so I'd be able to slam through obsidian with this. Oh, it's not letting me because I need to get that down. Okay, so I'm out of modifiers on this, but that's okay. I modified it as much as I need to. So the automatic ought to be fine. Not sure what I'm... I, I think I can go ahead and just put this in here as a spare part. Okay. I'm good now. I, I, I should be anyhow. Okay, let me see if I can find that spot that had the ores, because there was like some location around here that went down pretty deep. 
and then I wound up finding some diamond ores. So I know there are ones I didn't... Uh, this is the Dram Crick's mine, but was that in the right direction? Did I leave it? Did I... Did I find the ores close to my Dram Crick's mine? This is me pondering to myself, did I do so? Because I kind of need to remind myself, did I do that? Or was it at another location? Okay, Oromatic, let's see if you're ready for this whenever I get there, if I if I do. Okay, because this is possibly the path. Well, Mr. Graham Crick's pole. Is anybody down here right now? It would be kind of nice if there's just a little extra in... Nope. No, 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 no other Dram Crick's right now. To be perfectly fair, they, they don't happen very often. So it's 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 a bit iffy, but good dram crooks, good uh, dram crooks comes to who he to whoever waits. I, oh no! I, well, that tests out the silk touch. <laughs> uh, did it come as stone? Yep, silk touch is working. I may have smacked another stone right behind it. Okay, that th that was fair. Okay, was this? No, that was not leading to anywhere else. That was just away from my Dram Crick's hole. Um, okay, was there another route that I had around here that might lead to where I left those diamonds? That's a very good question. Oh, well, there's... Oh, that's my that's my deposit of more of that uh, liquid if I need it. So, okay, that's 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 that way. Sometimes you're a little too jumpy. If you're a little too jumpy, you just need to hit something with a pickaxe. To get it out of your face. Or away from bumping your head. One of the two. Generally, stopping it from bumping your head. Because in Minecraft, whacking your head on things is pretty common. But you can think of it two ways. Either, ow, that hurts, or I'm just doing a Mario. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's just, you're just doing a Mario, you know. You just... Smack your head into everything and and watch as it breaks. They, th that's the Mario way. We, we, of course, I know he technically punches upward at the time, but still, he's always smacking his head into things. It's readily apparent. Oops, I kind of went a little that way. Okay, uh, where else did I have that potential mine and? I swear these things can pop out of nowhere sometimes. It's like they regenerate, but I'm not entirely sure. Because could I have missed a lot of them? Yes. Have I? I'm not sure. Uh, not that way. Is this just a giant super creeper hole? getting the idea this is a giant super creeper ho uh, hole. But I don't think so. I don't remember there being a giant super creeper explosion. Hmm. Nope. Uh, this is not where I need to go. Almost. And go off my ankle. Whoop. Nope. That was too late. That was too late for the jump. Ooh, I'm breading into things. That's what's throwing me off. Yeah, just get you out of my way. And then I can make this angle work. Oh, I'm too fast. That's the problem. <laughs> Trying to gauge from normal speed. I have to do it earlier. That was the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I, I was too quick. <laughs> that, that, was, that was my problem. Okay, so it's not related to this location. This one, I'm not even sure what happened here. I'm suspicious, and... No, it doesn't involve a... a demonic... a uh, spider, but uh, the one just happens to have arrived. Oh yeah, probably should have put up my book.
thing is, my fists are good for doing regular mining. My special... Uh, my special tool I've made is good for, like, mass mining. And what just... oh. They're doomed. Well, that's one way to clear these guys out. I've been thinking of ways to bypass some stuff, and... Ha ha! Figured it was gonna end like that, but, uh, had to let it happen. Okay, so the demon's over there, so therefore that's not the way. Was Did I abandon a mine over here? Because I didn't realize I didn't really abandon it, I just should have marked it better. Uh, yeah, well I can put up my book. <laughs> that, that, that's a good idea, put up the book. You know, I can grab that stuff later off screen. The fact is, I, I have the Silk Touch now, and that's all I need to remember. But I did have some diamond ore that got a little, uh, displaced. Well, it's, it's down there. It's deep. You know diamond ore. And I think I was lucky enough to find it not next to lava. <laughs> yeah, how often does that happen? Uh, we, we all know the old joke. You find lava, you find lava, you find diamonds. You find diamonds, they're almost always next to lava. So it's, it's like, it's just the old, old, old gag on that. Oh yeah, I also should remember that I have a backpack. Even if I don't have it set for B. Wait, do I have a backpack? No, I uh, left my backpack somewhere else. I, I must have had it, my backpack over here. Wait, where'd my backpack go? Did the update kill my backpack? I, I'm thinking the update might have killed my backpack. Which is very ironic, because it was updating the backpack mod. Uh, I think they broke the entity that's on your back. <laughs> um, uh, whoops. <laughs> well, at least I didn't have much in there, because I, I kept forgetting to use it, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, that happened. Uh... Oh well. Uh, as I said, I'll, I'll I'll grab some of that stuff later. I'm 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 going to. I'm 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 going in. What? Too much height? Seriously? Okay. Either way, I'm going in. I'm going in. I I, I can grab like in stuff uh, uh later. At least now I know it is not in the Dram Cricks mine. So let's go ahead and generate the first of the Twilight Dimensions. And kind of just establish the old pattern here. I can get some of the other cool stuff later. Though admittedly, one of the things would have been really great to have already by now. But we'll just see if I can make it in next. next. Thousand and one possibilities, Twilight Dimensions. Whoa, heavy lag storm. And already I have a problem. Why do you have to be so hostile? <laughs> You're a nice unicorn looking thing. Why do you have to not be nice? <laughs> Why do I have to just annihilate you on the spot this moment I enter? Raw empowered meat. Nice. But is that the stuff you eat instantly? Okay. Hey, I didn't... I didn't break... I, I didn't break grass, I replaced grass. Do you know the difference? Apparently the answer is no. To that, I am just suddenly informed. Um... I was just putting... did I... okay. Well, I need to eat it anyhow. Hmm. Nice. Well, it's meaty. It works. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that here unless I need to do so. I can let that kind of reestablish itself. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> we have, uh, things. They broke it, so they got shot. Okay. I'm grateful the AI is like that. I just totally forgot that it could do that. That it wasn't just players. Anything that that breaks the grass gets targeted. I'm grateful that's the way it is. Right now I'm just going full on hammer mode. Gazillions are just swarming me. That's the first time I've seen one of those guys that close to the ground. You know, I have seen divine. I've watched Divine RPG a long time of people doing it, and I've never seen one of those things get that close to the ground. They're usually just ranged snipers, like they just shoot you from far beyond. I happen to hit that guy. Oh, that's my spriggan. Okay. That helps explain a few things. I'm gonna need to get myself some Dravite Sparkles. Cause, like, you can tame these little guys if you do it right. I'm getting sniped by something somewhere. One him. <laughs> Level up. Always nice. Wow, I've got so much empowered meat. And it's just the raw form and it's this good. Oh, okay. I, I think that was a partial charge. <laughs> and I still walloped him. Oh, the knockback on this thing is hilarious. But I'm getting swarmed. But who shot at me? I am wondering. Sorry. I heard the death is coming for you sound. So there's a reaper around here somewhere who died almost instantly, which is hilarious. Not sure how. Because they phase through blocks. They all have no clip. How, how did he die? Did he... Did he, uh... Did he get hit, hit by another mob? Because I know some of these are very aggressive. And some of them, not so much. Okay, little bunny. Um, I'm not gonna. Yep, oh, yep, yep, over here. I was gonna try to avoid hitting you, and then stuff happened. To be fair, I was trying not to hit you. Trying. Being keyword here. See, I was just wanting to have some time to put some stuff into my system, and then possibly to write them out. But I just get swarmed rather suddenly. A lot more so than used to be. I whiffed and did not get the arc. This is a weapon of just crushing. I'm having a meal here. You see, this is why I'm waiting for that magic meat stuff that you eat instantly. There's a type of meat that lets you just eat it instantly. Like, just gulp. can, however, just fling them off the edge. That is an option. Oh, that's who's sniping me. Ironically, he hadn't had a good line of sight for a while. 
I'll just fling you off the edge. Then. You take care of them. Eating, folks. It's kind of like the ether in being a hostile paradise. Looks beautiful, but everything is out to attack you. Okay, now I can attack that guy. Ignore you. Must remember, I can stand on water. Uh, I just need to be able to get on my mount faster. I need to get, get the free game. This is filling meat, though. <laughs> I just reacted and I punched and it worked. Greening time. <laughs> There's too many of them. I have to draw back to the gate. I don't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna say I'm not that lost. Talk about level building experience though. Wow. Just humongous levels of stuff. Okay. This is this is gonna be quite a journey. Uh yeah. Ooh. Well I got so much meat. So much meat. Uh, my armor is doing okay despite all that. I mean, I have the auto repair thing, that helps, but still, oh my gosh. That was just a humong- and I've still got items over there, but they've, uh, been preserved. So if I can get some kind of space thing going here, I should be fine. Just some space would be nice. I didn't even have time to throw stuff into my bag. It was that, that incredibly intense. But I got lots of meals. I'm trying to remember, can I cook this meat? It's a very good question. Can I cook the meat? So it calls it raw empowered meat. Is there a cooked version? Ah, oh, but it is good food. It is good food. That really does help a lot. And, okay. Oh, I got Eden dirt, obsidian, Eden souls. Oh yeah, that 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 that's gonna do me a long way towards other stuff. Uh, ooh. I could temporarily put up my divine set. That'll get earn me some uh, room here. Let's see, divine uh, Eden souls, Eden ages. Oh yeah, I didn't really harvest the trees. Uh, that would have been a good idea. Uh, Eden gems. Eden block. I think I need the Eden blocks to get to the next dimension, if I remember right. I think that's how that goes. But, let's see, where does the gym go? Eden chunk. Eden bricks. Okay, the chunks are... Okay, the chunks are for the tools and stuff. That's, that's coming back to me. Harvest level is 6 for the Eden pickaxe. I think the divine one has a harvest level of seven. Oh yeah, this is the one that gives me like extra ore drops if I'm in the twilight dimensions. Yeah, this is the mining armor. That's 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 a good reason to have it. Eden bow. 
infinite uses, but you still need arrows. Eden Blitz. Eden Blade. Eden Axe. Wait, wasn't there a phaser? Yeah, there's a phaser. Okay. I could go that way. I can go that way. I could I could make a phaser. Uh see, put the souls in there. Yeah, the divine sword is pretty cool. Although does this deal more damage than the divine No. This does not deal more damage than the divine sword. It just has so much more knockback. <laughs> so it's good for juggling. Uh that and I get to summon Spriggans, which is always very, very nice. So that's a good thing. Uh, I need to be able to assemble some more equipment. And the Divine set would be good in more than one way. I mean, my Obsidian set has been holding on. And it gives me a lot of health, so that, that helps me rush through things. So I think I might put most of this stuff back in... Although, I will take the Divine Sword for a while. Can I enchant the sword? If I, uh, grab myself a bit of Lapis here? Because that's a very good question. Can I enchant the sword? So if I can, I can also use the improved version. Ooh, I definitely can. Vampire Slayer 4. Ironic, because this time I'm actually going to go down the vampire path. But it is enchantable. That's good. That's very good. So I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about how I want it enchanted. Because uh, I think I have my improved setup over here. For my advanced enchanting table. Let me see. Do I want to do, do I want to just go for it? So I might want to just go for it. Hmm, because looting... <laughs> uh, that's uh, not the enchantment I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, that, that's... Uh, well, let me see what all I can do here, because... Uh, if I put on full sharpness... Cost... 191? Does this have a... Oh, it's calling it in experience points rather than levels, because it used to do it more in levels. Okay, so there's been like some updates to this mod. Okay, so that that that's fine. I was trying to figure out what was going on there. Okay, looting... Looting 3. Sweeping Edge 3. Okay, I still have... Some left. What else do I want on? Life Leech. Is there a two? There is a two. It doesn't alter. Uh, probably to poison, but I can still use my other thing. Oh, alternating between them would be very cool. So there's a thought. Be good use for my offhand is just be able to quick switch between them. That would be an interesting thought because this one, this one poisons. Uh, this would be extra looty and directly leechy. It'd have a good sweep, although the other one also has a good sweep, but I don't know if the sweep on Light Knight's weapons is proportional, or if it's just kind of like classic sweep only, which would be fine. Uh, do I want knockback on this is a good question, because that's like... Because knockback is good for resetting distance and allowing you to help out there. And what would it cost if I went knockback too? I could afford it. I could afford knockback two on this sword, but I don't want to fling things off edges with knockback. So no, uh, that'll be a no from me on knockback on that one. I have knockback over there. That is my hammer of smacking. Uh, do I want venom though? So I'm feeling venom might be good regardless. So I might be good for having both uh, poisonous. Aftershock. I'm not entirely sure what that does though. But let's go with this configuration. Oh my gosh. That is just ridiculously good. Okay, so I got my... 
my head lopper here uh, for getting heads whenever I need them, which is good. Got that and that. Now that I that I probably should have thrown in my system before I got all that stuff. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Uh is this meat has is uh oh, it, it's good meat but whoa did I really oh I leveled up so therefore I got more health okay I was wondering what was up with that and then I remembered oh yeah that's right I got more health I should be good uh, I know I call it my traveler's cleaver but do I want to travel with it let let's see here Okay, I have my automatic... Okay, so these are the things I'm kind of having on reserve for whenever I need them. So I'll put my Traveler's Cleaver there in case I need to lop some heads. Sand Slash is good. It's it's technically potentially stronger than the Divine Sword, but it's more fragile. So I'd want to I'd wanna put some serious unbreaking on that thing so that uh, if I need to use it very quickly, the repair will be able to keep up with it. So that's a thought for later. It's a good weapon. I do love my Leopleridon Anchor. I will be keeping that with me. My Fossil Hunter and my... I feel these two both have specific functions, so I'm probably going to be keeping them on me. Okay. Let's see if I can dive back in and see how much better I do whenever I'm, I'm wielding the appropriate weapon, the Divine Sword. So let's, let's try this again with extra feeling. And maybe, just maybe, me getting onto a mount. Because I have some flying mounts I can use. And they would be able to help me a lot. Partially just getting me out of the traffic jam that's obviously below me. Because, let's face it, that's intense. And they are immediately around me. Devastating critical there. Okay, I gotta pick up some of the stuff that fell. Okay, this guy is sniping me. I'd like to get to you, but there's a guy in my way. Wow, he went down so fast. Or maybe I just got him pretty low last time and didn't get rid of him completely. Probably just didn't finish him. That life leech is just awesome for this. It really is. Okay, that's clearing him out. Ho oh, ho, the dash, the, the dash slice. There's so many of these archers, though. I didn't mean to hit, hit you if I did. Nope, you're okay. Okay. You're fine. I'm trying to remember if the Tomos are neutral or not. No, these guys aren't. They immediately try to spear me. No, I just thought of what they're really like. They're like what the unicorn was really based on. They're like the Siberian unicorn. It was very aggressive. And very problematic. I mean, the thing just loved ramming everything it could find with his horn. So, be grateful the thing that inspired the unicorn is ironically extinct. Because you wouldn't want to meet up with it. Okay. I think... I've got a clearing. But the question is, should I use the clearing to mount up, or just have it time getting a tree? Because... Hmm... I think I want to just fly up and get to a tree. Oh, this land would be great to practice my magic on, because it's very combat heavy. So there's a thought, but I also want to try a tree. Because if I can get some saplings going, that would be great. Oh, you again. That is so useful. Okay, so I think the Tumlos are neutral. I don't think I have to actually worry about them. 
but I do have to worry about my jumpiness being too extreme. Uh, being able to jump tremendously high is definitely those one of those things I'd call both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> so you are blurst if you have too much jumping power. That that that's definitely a real thing. Okay. Definitely don't want to stay in one area for too long. I do have the issue that I might get sniped, but if I can make it up to enough of the tree to harvest it and get the whole tree, that would be beautiful. Or at least get some saplings. Can I get a sapling here? You now if I leave the tree just right, I might even be able to leave it mostly intact, as long as I can get some saplings. Okay. Did I get a sapling? Got a sapling. Okay, there. How do I want to? Want to make this corner caddy or something? Okay, okay. I th I think I can do this. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I have to very very carefully do this. So I'm stuck in a tree. Um. Okay. I do have improved ability to fall. I think. Even if I don't, I should be able to survive it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be okay. Because remember, I'm Kryptonian, so... Oh! They're fighting. You know me, I like my mob battles. Yeah, this was something I liked even before I ever saw Pat. Uh, it's just, he fulfilled my need for them for a long time until stuff happened and then kind of be- Okay, I'm not the one who killed your predecessor, okay? It was this guy. I was really hoping to see the, the evil version of the bunny just take revenge on these archers for me. And that did not happen. So, I'm a little disappointed on that. I really wanted to watch the evil bunny just get revenge. Oh, this sweep is beautiful. I'm very glad I spent the extra experience on that. Totally worth it. Thing is, with uh, Chanting Plus, or whichever name is going by at that exact time, because it seems to alternate a little. Well, the thing is that it makes it where you don't need Lapis, but you do need to spend way more experience even than you would have before. So you will you will spend an absolute ton on it, and just just. And, I, and now that they've got it based on experience rather than levels, it's an interesting twist. I like that. But I still spent a humongous chunk. Like, do you know how many levels that would have been if I had did that on a no a just period, just normally? So that was definitely more... Oh, is that what's happening? Are they coming out of here? No, I think this is a boss spawner. I'm supposed to put an item on that. So that's a boss altar. That's not... I was gonna try to do the twist and hit him, but it did not work. I just got close. Man, the sword in this configuration works fantastic. I really did come up with a good combo for it. Yeah. Dash smash. Oh gosh, this place is great for building just levels in general of whatever mod you've got to add levels. I mean, the experience around here is fantastic. Okay. 
I think I've whacked enough mobs for a little while. And then they decide to surround the gate. Oh, uh, yeah, of course that would happen. Yep, 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 yep. Just let me through the gate. I'm, I'm going to have, like, a meal or something here. I've, I'm literally getting hungry from eating all these... Uh, from. Okay, so I have been eating some of them. So that would have been an okay statement, because it would be appropriate. But the, the point is... Uh, oh! A bunny made it through. Oh, I, I cannot let this opportunity go away. Iron lips. Let me just throw some extra stuff in here. I will give you what you want. You know what you want. Trust me, I very much know what you want. I just need to figure out how to make it. Oh, they, they, they yeah, of course they renamed it with Eden. Uh, Eden Fragments. Sure, themselves Eden souls. Well, oh, actually, okay, let's. Oh, you, you, you are in a very bad position because I am trying to get a bunny to work, and with that. I am not in the mood for a demon to get in my way. So, Mr. Relay, if you would like to just crush some, just go ahead, because that's kind of what I'm dealing with here. I know, but at the same time, kind of like doing certain things the uh, usual way. Okay. Let's see if this has compatibility for the classic. No, it does not. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually uh, I'm gonna have to actually cook these back at base. But wait, I have a lasso. Now I have enough moogles so I can empty this lasso. You go there, and you go in the lasso. <laughs> okay, now I have the bunny, and I can do the further taming another time. So, so, so that's taken care of in its own unique way. It's, it's called, like, just place the bunny back in... <clears throat> place the bunny back in the box, rather in the lasso. So we should be good. Okay, the bunny is in the lasso. Uh, so I am happy with that. And that guy has officially got Relay very mad at him, and he is so going to get it. Or is it Riley? I'm not sure the pronunciation of that. But it's always spelled like Relay. Kind of like it was filled in from the lost city of Relay. But you know what I mean. Okay. Anyhow, I'm supposed to feed him these. <laughs> to, get the, to get the bunny uh, to work out. So if I cook those, I can feed the bunny these, and then I have the bunny officially tamed. So that that's how that's supposed to work out. Uh, didn't really think of all that going down that way, but... Oh well, I mean, I got some other stuff to do, and I, I also need to set up some of my buttons for my Kryptonian power so that I can officially just fly around there and pull off the Superman. So that that's something I might need to do. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out a good fly button. But at least that place, even just not uh, even like progressing that much, I still got a ton of experience, so it's progressing with other things super fast. So, it's gonna be a pretty good area to just fight it out. It does have ores, uh, might I add, and they give you, uh, they give you these, uh, little minerals that you normally use to make the stuff, like all your equipment and also the next portal forwards. So, I'll probably, uh, do some recipe running on that for a little while and get stuff ready because that way I'll be able to progress to the next one. But, I could also go to the end. I'm not entirely sure which one I should do, because I could speed my way towards getting ready for Vethia, because if I just keep getting the next tier, then I'll eventually be able to uh, go to Vethia, because there's a few... And there's also, like, an offshoot location uh, that I might be able to go. I might be able to go to the... Well, then again, I'm not entirely sure if they got the Dungeon of Arcana fully working. I think so. I think that got ported okay. 
I'm going to have to check into that. Uh, but then again, that's, I'm also doing a lot of testing here, and that's what this is heavily about. So, yeah, I, I can go Arcana. Uh, I can go... Well, Ar Arcana, I actually can't go immediately. I have to get certain other things first, and that's why I'd have to go to the end, is I need to get certain items so that I can get special materials from boss fights. If I can get them, then I can go to Arcana. I can also make some extra gear that's extra special, including... Uh, the angel armor. The angel armor lets you fly. Uh, I have ways of flying. I can use my my mounts. I can make sure I have a button set a uh, button set up for my Kryptonian powers and just fly. Uh, so I can do that. So as long as I have like enough charge, I can pull that off. And and also there's other things that I have as options. But it's a good idea to be able to fly whenever you're in Eden, aka Dravite. I mean, it used to be called Dravite. So in case you're wondering why I'm calling it that, that's from like a long time ago. Uh, but Anyhow, it's good to fly in a lot of the Twilight Dimensions in Divine RPG, so it I'm going to have to think of my options, but in terms of just going around the ground at my portal, it was a great spot to fight. Like, seriously, just smash through everything and get tons of experience. Like, at least I'm not falling off uh, into the, in, into the, uh, uh, into the uh, Eternal Below immediately, so it was a good spawn in. So that's good news. I also got myself some other stuff from it that I'm very happy about, including the meats. I'm going to get good foods. Oh, that reminds me. I really should show off some of the other types of food added in Divine RPG, including some using vanilla materials. So I'm definitely not going to have any issues with food in, in, in my run here. That, that There's just, like, no question about it. Well, for now, I'll be logging off. Hope to hear from you all later. Uh... Goodbye for now, everybody, and do remember to just kind of ponder, should I be going in next, or should I just be kind of shooting towards the uh, point where I'm going to be at least able to access Veth uh, Vethia? So, it just, 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 a, just a ponderance there. Well, anyhow, bye for now, everybody.